What's up, baby? What's going on? We on we're not on air, right? Of course. We are? Yes. So what's going on then? So Boy, I have a lot to say to you. What the hell yeah, happened? First, first of all, you know, it's been it's been a long time since we talked, you know what I mean? And um you know, it was like, you know how you do, you do your thing and you know, artists are scared of you, you know what I mean? Right. So so the whole thing was, man, you know, I was up there, the girl on the other station, Angie Martinez, was telling me that, you know, she was going to lose her job and, 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 and break out because, you know, you were basically ending her career. And I don't know why she was telling me that, but she was telling me that. So uh, when you broke the record, Ether, right. and changed the whole radio game throughout the nation and boosted the ratings up for every radio station in the United States, when Ether dropped because everybody had that battle after right. you played it first. Right. They had no choice but to play it. So, but why All of a sudden, they start jocking me. Yo, Nas, come up here, be at the radio, woo woo, and do this and the other. But they begged me not to do any other radio and promised me whatever I had to get, you know, promised me a fair chance that they give other artists that pay them on Okay, it. But, so, why did, but why didn't you come up here if you knew that I was playing Ether straight off the love and all that, you know, other... Why would you go... There or anywhere else, as opposed to coming here first. Because when the I had did your show, I called your show the other day. You was wilding out. It was too much of that, you know, uh, back and forth stuff. It was no. for Hot ninety seven to get a piece of what was happening. It wasn't my call. It was them who made the battle. They started the battle because they had the J record. They had the answer record. So mm -hmm. it was on. You know what I mean? So I was like, my ears was tuned over there because they had to answer back the record. And I wanted to hear what he had to say. He wasn't trying to answer back. Yeah, they had took the attention over there. Yeah, but now, so now the politics are such that there will be no more Columbia music played over there. That includes you. And I still cannot figure out why it is that I was not even on the stop. And of course there was a no, lot no, of... No, 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 you was on the stop. I brought you your son some stuff. I brought you some Chris and some uh, a whole candy basket and all of that. And they said, yo, Nas, we was at, right downstairs at right. WBLF. They said, Nas, Wendy said, go to hell. I said, no doubt. No, 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 no. We found out you were downstairs and you canceled out on us. No, you canceled me when it don't even play. Don't play. And that was, right that, was, that was after me. you stopped there, though, and you went there. And it's like I couldn't figure it out. I was playing Ether off the strength and the love. I don't play politics over here. You know, how much did you get well, paid? How much did you get paid in all this? Huh? How much did you get paid in all this? Did anybody get any upfront money to you? Upfront nothing, not a dime. So what happened? What happened with um with Summer Jam? So you found out yesterday morning, and you still didn't come up here. You saved your whole rap. Right, right. Yo, let me tell you, Wendy. First of all, thank you for bu busting the record and making everybody jump on the bandwagon. I love you for that. All right, whatever would happen in between, okay. my bad. Okay. But check this out. Mm -hmm. I was I was on tour. I'm on tour now. I'm in Indianapolis right now doing the Usher tour. I came back off my days off and worked it out. It was like now nah, through the Summer Jam. I guess after the battle, uh, the other rapper he had a fit he called an attitude with Hot 87. So they sucking him and doing everything to get him to love them back. And he still ain't loving them back, but they still riding him. So they couldn't get him or whatever, and it's, you know, it's inevitable. It's my time around to go back and get some payback the way he did me last year. Right. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm going through my thing, and I came and I rehearsed. I, I practiced a real good show, Wendy. I mean, I was doing my old stuff, my new stuff, and really wanted to show people how much I've grown as an artist. You know what I mean? And really get back to New York City, my hometown. I had Rock Kim coming out. We rehearsed together. It was one of the greatest moments of my life. I really look up to him. I was bringing him on stage. And at the end, we had a great set built to, to, to really shock Hot 97 and shock the whole New York City. And... When they saw what it was, they was like, really, they had me come bring the set early in the morning just to see what it was. Uh -huh. And some clown dude named Randy, uh, some clown dude that works for Def Jam, and he's supposed to be a production guy who never did production in his in his life, okay. is, is controlling the show up there and, and telling us, they just want to see our set. Say, oh, you got this and Jay. Oh, you can't have that. I said, how you know who we dissing? Y'all don't know who we dissing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and wait a minute, what does this have to do with Jay? I mean, why does Jay have to do with it? You know what I'm saying? What does he have to do with my show? This is my show. And they told us early in the morning, well, if y'all doing that, y'all can't do it. Let me know if y'all still want to do the show. I'll tell the crowd right now. I just hung up on them. Wow. That's what Tracy did. And it's like, yo, how you going to treat a brother like that, man? You disrespecting me. You disrespecting how much I worked hard. And they actually saying what is good and what's not good and what can go. But who gives them the power over hip-hop music and what the, the fans bought the tickets to see Nas, Wendy? I mean, much respect to Mob Deep, Noriega, uh, Ja Rule and all that. They 
they didn't come to see that. Yeah. They came to see me, man. You can ask anybody went to the show, but they was chanting at the end of the night. We want Nas. After Ja Rule left the stage, they was chanting, we right. want Nas, right. we want Nas. And they you know what I'm saying? And I wanted New York. That's my hometown. They want to tell me and play me like, yo, you ain't got to come and all of that stuff like that. You know, come on, man. Well, I have to say that I'm hurt by all this. It almost seems like you went along with this whole plan, um, th this whole um, made-up disc between you and Jay-Z to appease that radio station and the possible spins that they could give you and the help, the, the love that they can give you right, to right, your right, CD. Right. This, is a, this is bigger than radio. This is bigger than Hot 97 on BLS. This has nothing to do with radio. This is hip-hop music which started in a park. I didn't need to pay no radio to sell my records. A street hip-hop battle changed the whole rap game and got Nelly trying to diss us one Makes no sense to me. God, how, how's Nelly going to diss KRS-1? How? How? I mean, you got you got Dre and them dissing Jermaine Dupri, Dupri going back and forth. This is the sexiest thing hip-hop has ever seen, and no radio or anything could have anything to do with this. If I would have got my thing out, they don't even know what I was about to do. They don't, it wasn't really Jay I was coming after. I was, I, I, I can't even reveal everything that I was going to do on that stage that was going to raise the bar of hip-hop music, yo. So, so what were what exactly was it that you were going to do? Well, what I was going to do was show the hip hop audience that when you pay eighty dollars for a ticket and come into a cheap house where the lighting is wrong and everything is treated like a community center, right? Where it should be. I do the uh, Wendy, I do the Russian show every day, and if you come out here, it's the sexiest thing you see. It's packed. The stadium is lit. They just all the people that came in there spent eighty dollars and, and didn't even get a good show. You know what I'm saying? They came in there and spent eighty dollars. Where's the money going? They've been doing the summer jam stuff for too long. Where's the money going? It's not going back into no community. So hip hop, hot ninety seven loves the community. What? What community? Eighty dollars a ticket, and they up in some nasty ass. Uh, 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 the, the production crew don't even care. Now, it's not a real concert. That, now, it's a, my people was in there. I didn't. Yo, yo, Wendy, they said I was in the building. I didn't even go to Long Island yesterday. No, I, know I was you, in Manhattan all day. I know you weren't in the building because I heard you. Um, French is a liar. Flex is on the radio saying he's in the building. They, they making all the people at Hot 97 say I'm in the building lying to the audience like that. Meanwhile, they're on the phone with me telling me that I, can, I don't have to come. What was your direct hit to Jay-Z, though, during your show? Well, you know, I got my ether record. It was really no... It was, it, I had something for him, but I had something for Hot 97, too, because I knew they never had no love for me. And I'm a rebel to the end. I don't, I, nobody make me. Nobody stick nothing up in me. I'm a rebel to the death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what I was going through was revolutionize the whole game because Hot 97 was suckers from day one. Angie didn't want me to win. Flex didn't want me to win. It was Faxes coming up there 24-7 calling, telling Angie and Flex get their mouth off of, the, off of that dude's cock, man. Flex is taking paper from all of them dudes and the people in New York City chose me and Jay caught an attitude and started crying about it and now they coming at your boy like yo Nas you gotta be easy cause they're jam paying them to do this and do that yeah. now yo I'm a rebel I'm for the people man I ain't with all of that you ain't got Donnie Aina who's my man paying nobody to protect me I'm, 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 I deal with my consequences like a straight warrior and a trooper to the death but for a second there you did succumb to radio politics Oh, no doubt. You got to play the game. For a second. You got to play the game. But it, it was not either that, but I couldn't be quiet. My fans want to know what's going on, what's on your mind, and what's happening. But you can't be a puppet to the radio politics. When did Never was I a puppet. Never was I a puppet to the radio politics. And you can't be a puppet to radio, radio politics either. I rebel every day. Every damn day there's something going on. Trust mother. Uh, <laughs> so what, uh, what picture? I heard you had a picture of Jay-Z or something. I, I didn't have a picture. Wendy. I, had, I can't explain Wendy. it. Whoa. I think I'm going to Whoa. be... I'm going We're to about to drop Columbia up in here. New York City is still going to get a show. It's going to still go on. It wasn't a picture. They told me, uh, uh, Wendy, they said... Yo, don't put out no no movies. I said, that's not my style. That's not what I'm going to do. Yeah, I could have put up movies. But I could have showed the R. Kelly video that everybody's talking about, made fun of it, and said, yo, Jay's hanging out. When Jay and them was in there doing Best of Both Worlds, you can't tell me Jay didn't see a 14-year-old girl come in the studio and sit on R. Kelly's lap. No. <laughs> you can't tell me, you can't tell me that you're working on that album, that he ain't never seen a 14-year-old girl come in the vicinity. My, my belief is that anybody who's worked with him and been in his cypher has seen it go down. You've seen it go down. Yeah. It's wrong. I've been around R. Kelly, and I pay for that, brother. I've, I've been on a tour with him. It didn't last too long, but I, I've been around him. I, I, I didn't see no 14-year-old, but I talked to the man, and I've seen there's a little problem there. The brother needs help, and I pay for him. But if I sit there and did an album about women with him, I'm definitely maybe indulging. You, you, he had to be indulging some 14 year old man. That's what I'm saying. What I'm here, I'm, I'm here for the people, man. I'm here to talk the truth. And I'm on Wendy's well, show right now. I did 105 yesterday because...
contest. Every station is mine. I'm not a pity. I don't even mess with radio like that. But when it's time for the people to hear why I didn't, I wasn't out of place. I want the people to know I never would shout them out or not show up. Like I heard punk ass flexes talking about I didn't come out the dressing room. Well, I cracked that record for the love, and I'm the one who's got the streets this, with this radio thing right now. And if you want to talk to the people, you need to make time to actually come to the show, Nas, and host with me. Hell, host for the whole Baby, four listen, hours. I'm on tour. I'll be on tour for the next two weeks. When I come back to New York, it's on. That's perfect because my birthday party one of the um several that are being given july 17th in the hammerstein ballroom i would love you to come i, I get on there i rock it whatever i need to do all right all right new york city you hear that july 17th Nas, and we need you to come to the show before then you bring that champagne make sure it's cold don't forget the chocolates <laughs> and get ready to talk now see man i love you i hate to see no, this now. i hate this I'm saying you say you say you want about the out there been kissing ass and, and, and running rappers' careers for too long, and these fake ass rappers been not been trying to show them dudes love and not go to other radio stations for too long. The day is over. It's a new day in hip hop. I'm tired of it. If you're a real man, yo yo yo, take it and give it to me. If you're a real man, when you see take off his chain and I got something for you when you see it to me yo if you're a rap artist that's real smack that nigga man come on man this have, is real business this change of game man have you ever given Funk Master Flex money to play a song hell no I didn't get I'll make him pay me to play a record you crazy no I'll make Flex pay me to play a record Jazz Jay Z. Flex better pay me. If when I bring my new record up there, if he still has his job today, ladies and gentlemen, if I have a if I have a if I have a record that I need Flex to play, he better write me a check just so he can play my record. Yo. Right. This is not a game no more. When I come back to New York after this tour, it's on, yo. I need you to come to the studio because your fans want to ask you questions, and we're going to open up the lines for you. We'll play your music and the whole bit, and it has nothing yeah, to do with station I love politics. My fans, uh, I love you, Wendy, for giving me this chance to put my voice on it. I said some things about some rappers yesterday. My man, Mary, I love you to death. All I'm saying is rappers need to just step up their game on the right. And Cam Ronnie has a great single, but his album is trash. I'm, I listen to Nelly Joy. He got talent, but don't get KRS one ever in your life. I'm stepping up to the game. Ever. Don't ever try to play a real hip hop veteran. Teach it to the game, man. I die for this hip hop. Yeah. How, how do you feel? Big up to my man Trench, too. Bumpy Knuckles, Billy Hart, all my dudes. My brother Joe will hold me down. Lake just came home. Love you, baby. How do you feel about Def Jam's role in all this? Man, I love Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons is my hero, man. If Russell Simmons call me, man, I'm right there with, with, with whatever we gotta do. I'm right there to the death. That's my hero. As far as Leon and them, they playing the money game. I right, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They protecting their boy. But yo, man. You know what I'm saying? Them, them dudes basically work, was running that radio station over there, and that's why a lot of people's records wasn't getting played and getting the love that other artists was getting. Every artist deserves a fair shot, man. Oh, wow. Couldn't have said it better. And I feel you do give people a fair shot, but you can change your playlist up a little bit too. Help out a few more brothers that's, you know what I mean? Pump, pump a little more, more that hip hop. There's more hip hop out there that needs some play. Help. Don't play that, you know, I heard Don from them boys up there that was there. Don't, pick, don't bring people like that on the show that, that's retarded in the game. Bring real people on your show to talk. People gotta be, stop being scared to talk to your sister, Wendy. She's a gossip queen. She's gonna do what she gotta do. It's a new day and age. Don't be a sucker for Hot 97. Just go to that radio station. They corny, man. What, Nas, if you and help, they gotta play my record. They don't play my record. They got very serious problems. If you help they me, gotta play my record. If you help me take these streets, then we could run the streets. And I look forward to seeing you when you come off tour. No doubt, man. I'll be back in New York. It's on and popping. Y'all ain't seen the last. It's getting ready to go down crazy. All right. Don't forget July 17th, Hammerstein Ballroom. No doubt. All right. Love you, man. Love you, baby. And there it is.